What is up guys, Austin Richo here, back again, playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing with our build of Jurassic World here, and as you can see, our park is coming along quite well. Of course, starting down here, we added in the last episode, our, um, what, a pack of Slephosaurids, where we got the Packies, uh, Stiggies, and Draco Rex is in there, then of course, I still don't know what to call this one, but it's Drew the Minus's Archima. Ooh, look at that pretty blue one right there, that's cool. Arctheornithomimus, then we go to Herbivore Valley here where we've got Triceratops, Gallimimus, and Apatosaurus is all roaming around in here where you can ride around in a Jarvis free ball. Then going up here we've got our Ankylosaurids where they're all our Anky um, related family all roaming around in our pin here. Then we've got our um, what is Ceratopsians where again they're all like the trikes but with no trikes in here oh there's so many of them roaming around in there so today we're going to be coming over here into our stega i forget i don't know how to pronounce it. i'm just going to say stegosaurids and so it's all the members of the stegosaurus's family but of course i've already gone ahead and started adding the um uh, sauropods into the pin here. So we've got Kamarasaurus and Brachiosaurus already. I've just did two of each so far. I don't know if I started those in the last episode, but I am going to go ahead and add the um, Diplodocuses. They don't really fit along in there because they're shorter and smaller to the ground. They're closer to the Apatosaurus, but um, I don't know exactly where else I would want to put them besides maybe keeping them roaming around in like this pin but I don't really know because I do want to keep some sort of animals in here once we're done because I think I have unlimited lifespan on dinos so th dinos aren't going to die unless something weird happens um, but yeah we'll go ahead and get those knocked out and we'll transfer transport them over but let's go ahead and start in here we'll go ahead and start with the um, star itself the stegosauruses um, we will I forget how many they need Does do I have the thing unlocked they need five. Okay, so I think that's one of each color. So we'll just do, cause yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, it is one exactly of every single color. So we'll start with the null. And I assume they're all, I'm gonna modify the genome real, or make sure it's all modified real quick. Okay, so there was one I did need to change. So it's a good thing I guess I did check on that. We'll then just go through, of course, and switch all of the colors on the stigos. So we got those two in there. I should have checked to see if I could add hatchery capacity. No, they're at six. So it's pretty much where it's going to be. So then we'll go with reinforce, which is always usually one of my favorites. I like that color. And we'll do this one. And add that. So I'll let those incubate. Um, I think that's why, because of like, I know the Stegos needed five per, so I think that's why I chose this. I don't know how many others. I'll do at least two, um, if not more, depending on how many things they need. So let's go ahead and transport. We'll start with the Mamenchis over here first. Head in to pick up the asset. That one's like laying on the building. Collecting asset. I don't know how these Diplos are going to do in here. And like I said, not like it matters because I don't have... I have uh, breakouts turned off, so they're not gonna break out no matter what. So that should be fine. But so those are incubating up the stegos. So let's go ahead and over here. So in the last episode, I started to get these in, uh, incubated. So let's get out of that. So we've got the Indominus Rex. We'll release first. Here's the Indominus Rex. I think I chose the rainforest pattern for it too, with the black and like blue. Oh no, we have a. Oh, are we gonna have this failure thing going again? We'll close out of that. So there is our Indominus Rex, and we'll get its pin open up over here. And hopefully it'll run out into the door there. Let's check. Oh, shoot, I didn't check to see which one that was. Which I think it should just be our most recent one. Have like a 4% chance of failure, and of course it failed. Now we'll close the gate on there. So of course there's too many forests, not enough grassland, which I want it to look like this, but unfortunately we're going to have to take, because I at least want it to be comfortable as much as I can get it comfortable. But I want to kind of hide the back wall over here. Transportation complete. Let's see if it's any better. It's getting closer. Delivery has been completed. 
Despite my reservations, we returned to Isla Nublar, and now you've reached your maximum experience for this island. I have. Oh, we've hit five stars. That's why I was like, "What?" I know the math. It's eventually going to catch up to us. Well, to to you. It's still just a few spots. I want. Like I said, I wanted to keep this wall hidden, but I guess not going to be able to very much. Does that help any? Nope, still just a tiny bit more. It doesn't make sense because in the movie, its pen was completely full. There, it's right on the border. So it should be good now. There, it's held, uh, things going up. So that should be good now. Let's release the Indoraptor. Come on, get out of the screen. There we go. Oh, camera's going everywhere. Oh, look at that purple. That is so cool. I love that purple stripe. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. Let's open its gate over here, and hopefully this will start drawing crowds in over in this. And I went ahead and put the restaurants and food and all sorts of stuff over in here. Ooh, maybe I should have switched them around. Because there's a food place here. There's no food places over here except for all the way there. I may have to switch it around depending on I don't know there's goes the interrupter into its pin oh there it goes eating a goat oh look at that look at that would you just look at it that's such a nice looking thing let's see if I can get a picture of it coming down in here oh goodness so let's go down in here Ah, oh, is it's eating a goat? I can't get the picture lined up. There we go. And I'll just snap a picture real quick just for my stuff. Of course, you probably can't see that. But that's so cool. So there we go. Okay, hopefully neither of those have failed. I don't think... Yes, neither of those have failed and will not be failing. So let's go ahead and release these two. Then we can start getting another one going in there because obviously they need five, so we're one off. And release that one. The Stegosaurus to the park. Look at all the Stegosauruses. What's this one look like? Oh, that's that's cool. It's got green stripes on its back. That's awesome. And that one just got brand. Oh, look at that one. That one looks cool too. Actually, so I may do the stego in here since the other one's still going. And then I'll come over to this one now and start doing. So we did the stego, so let's just go to the top now. So we'll do Kajingasaurus, I think is the first one. Let me check the modifications again. So the Kajingasaurus needs two. So obviously go with our rainforest. And incubate that, so that's cool that it just needs two. What other color should we choose? I don't know if I want savanna, tundra, jungle, or arid. We'll probably do jungle. I usually like that one most. Okay, get out of my view. And we'll incubate that going there. So let's go ahead and release this stego now. Uh, I don't know why it like it's like my mouse isn't clicking the things or something okay let's get into our overhead view real quick there we go and I guess I'll just go ahead and start uh, tranquilizing these guys to get them moved I like how those two like moved in synchronicity like and we turn now okay is everything I assume going good over here. Let's check our views. Oh, it has some food issues and stuff on this end thing down here. Sell a dino shirt. There we go. I don't know if that'll help anything, but we'll just go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, there we go. 
So we've got our stegos going down. We can go ahead and transport them, I guess. Over into this far enclosure. Not that more food things as well. Heading to collect the asset. There's that one. En route to pick up the asset. This pin layout wise wasn't the best. Asset requiring collection. Just because of the views and stuff, because it was kind of hard to get a place to fit because most of it would be viewing into this one, which I guess doesn't really matter. But we've got it all situated. How are all my dinos in here? We got Mominchi, Kamara, Brachio, all three. Where's the Diplo? I feel they should be sticking out more, the Diplos. Mominchi's over there. I can't locate one. Probably hiding in the trees. Asset in transit. Asset has been collected. Let's go. Oh, I can't get a look, but it's got a hundred percent comfort, so must that's surprising. I think they're all yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, that's the Kajing. Is this thing done yet? No, that stake is taking forever. I guess we'll go ahead and release these then, since they're done. Kajing is on the way. Look at all four stegos being transported over. It's the flight of the stegos. So they're arriving over there. They went got our Kajingosaurus. Kajingosaurus. Look at this one. Would you just look at it? Look how pretty he looks. Oh, there's that one too. That one looks cool. Is the Stego gonna be done? Okay, Stego's about done. So we'll transport these three together and release it. About time. Okay, Stegos are done now. So let's look at our next one. So we did the Kajingosaurus. I know there's not a whole lot. I think it's the Gigantospinosaurus, Hoangosaurus, and the Kintro are all that we have left. Do I have one of these? Yes, I do. They need four. Okay. I'm going to modify the genome. Make sure it's modified real quick. Okay, so it was able to be modified a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do the colorful one there again that i think is really cool whatever that was the vivid pattern that we'll do i think we'll do from the bottom up so we've got that going then we'll come over here and do the other two so this is like perfect how it's uh four because i can evenly split them then we'll do taiga and the last one of do what savannah yeah it's savannah definitely so we'll get those and now let's oops mail if I trank them first trank our dinos acknowledged request acknowledged request acknowledged there's all of the dinos let's go ahead and add another feeder in here I'll have to do a calculation to see how many we need we may need two so I may add one here One here. Hopefully that's pretty evenly spread out and everything. So we got plenty of feeders, so that can hold 16 dinos. Because I think it's four per feeder. Look at our dinos, Mominchi's gathering up here together. I like the look of this one. I, you know, just recently real found out too and realized that Mominchi was in the Lost World Jurassic Park and the whole chase scene where the engines taking down all the dinos and stuff to bring to America for the new park. There's our diplos and Kamara sources. Oh no, that's a Brachiosaurus. How did I get that wrong? Look at the cool Brachies. So cool, cool, cool. I love these dinosaurs. They're so cool. Time to transport. We'll start with... Uh, should have probably done Stego first, but it doesn't matter. Hawanga. I forget which one. Kajinga sources. I think. Asset There's the other Stego. How are these things coming along? Gigantospinosaurus is 50%. Doga, let's look at our... Oh, look. I forgot to check the raptor. And it is doing 100%. Doing all good and dandy. Let's take a little view of it over here. 
Oh, it's so far away. Come over here. Put it there so you know I'd be able to view the... Let's see if we can view it. I doubt because it's straight down. Yep, we can't see it. I can't see you down there. Where is it, Daddy? That'd be like what a little kid would be saying. Let's check from this one. Can we see to the side? Oh, yes, we can. There it is roaming around. Let's check the Indominus. Like it's like staring at us from far away. It's like, I'm going to stay over here. Chasing another goat. Run, goat, run. So I'm curious because these are unlimited feeders. Yeah, it's saying 10 out of 10. Because I was wondering if they would just constantly be producing goats every so often. Do you stay good? Okay, what is the process? 80 is about in the 80s. These should be about done. Getting close. I still have not decided or planned anything out for the uh, carnivorous dinosaurs. You could say I still have this one set up here for the T-Rex to go, but I don't know what I'm going to do. There we go. They're starting to get done. I have this one obviously set up. They need more room though. So I can probably set up some sort of thing in here. But I don't know if I want to put multiple together or not. I have to figure that out. Okay, the Gigantospinosauruses are getting done here now. Perfectly timed. And the last one. Really sick. Let's look at these. Oh, look at that one. That is so cool. I love the like weird little spots. It's like a purple, then it's got blue with some yellow and green. And it, that is so cool. I've never seen the look of this one before. That is awesome. I love it. What's this one look like? Oh, that one's got orange. These things look so cool. How, I don't know if I've ever... I must have released them before, but... Oh my god, these things look so cool. Look at those giant spikes. What's this one look like? Oh, that one's pretty nice too. No, I don't like it as much, but it's still cool. And the last one here... I can't tell if that's like a white or a blue. Needs to get in the sun. Okay, let's go ahead and chopper all these guys. Get to the chopper. Nice if I could add something in front of here. I don't think one of these would fit. Because that could remove this one. No, I don't want to chopper you. Now let's go to our next one. So we did this. So next is the Hawang. So again, I'll need to check their genes. Oh, there's not many to check. Oh yeah, we can definitely go higher there. 123. Because that's like some of these, they have like tasks and stuff that you have to give them certain settings. So that or I haven't done them in such a long time. There we go, see, I needed, and I forgot to check the colors. And I don't know how many we need. We'll start with the Savannah. I assume they don't need too many. One. Okay, so, well, at least do two. So what colors do I want to choose? Maybe Step and Arid? Yeah, I think we'll do that, because I think those colors, at least by the little boxes there, I like them the most. And then uh, maybe we can get the last ones in here, depending on how many they need. The Kintra sources, I believe they're the last ones. They need three, of course. So I'll check their things real quick. Okay, so I think, so I got it all situated. Oh no, we got it. I'll start with the woodland on this. Okay, and start the other one. And then I'll take care of the disease. Get rid of disease from my park. We don't need no diseases in here. Where is it at? And the Ceratopsians. No, we need R. Ranger team, go. Task. And hopefully it doesn't spread too much. 
Let's get these guys transported. En route to collect the asset. Asset collection request received. Collecting asset. Acknowledging asset collection request. There we go, that should be all four of those. I'll have to watch the disease thing, see if it's spreading. And these are already done. Yeah, they're the Kintros guy. They're two different dinos. Ooh, look at that one. That one's a cool orange color. Why are these things looking so cool? Is that the same thing? Hawaiian Giganta? Huh. We'll do our other Kintro here. Oh, apparently the disease was controlled. There we go, our last one thrown in there. No diseases, right? Of course, we got unhappy dinos because there's too many of them in one pin. But they're just going to have to deal with it. These are all fine, though. They're all nice and happy. Go ahead and I did this to Herb. Herb, not Herb. Or Valley. There we go. Still have to come up with a name for this place, though. The chicken dinosaurs. <laughs> That's what we can call it. Hum, 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 hum. Still looking pretty cool. No, Kintros aren't close yet. Let's go ahead and get these two guys knocked out. Get knocked out. Let's go since... Oh no, it's not open. This one should have an open spot so we can look around here. So for the carnivores, we've got the dillos done already. So we have outsources, which can only go with one. It's apparently their uh, social group is zero, so they don't even exist. But we've got one allosaurus, two baryonyx, because I do want to do the max possible, two carnos, three saras. Dionychuses, we can get up to eight. Then gigas, I believe it's just one, maybe two, no, two gigas. We got both of those already. Then we've got majunga sources, which I still have not done. My triacanthus, two. Then we've got spinos, which are two. Sucumimus is two. And of course the T-Rex and Veloc. So I will put something, maybe, Trying to think of how I want because I have the Dionychus, the Velociraptors, and the uh, Dilophosaurus, which can go with something else. So we have the Spinos, the Gigas, which I can pair something with, I think, depending on how much their population. And maybe the, yeah, Carnos would be pretty good. They have a 20, and Ceratosaurus as well. Allos yeah, I could probably do Allosaurus's Gigas. And I don't know, maybe Spinos? I may put the Dionychus with the Spinos. Just because I think the collars and everything would look cool together. I'll put those together and everything else would be individual. Then, of course, we still have... Again, I don't know what these things are called. <clears throat> I don't think they say on here, do they? Nope, they don't give, like, their names or anything like that. Nope. But like the duck bill dinosaurs, as I'll call them for now. Till I can learn their proper names. Go ahead and transport these guys over. Picking up asset. Head in to pick up the asset. Okay, so there's our other Kintros. And this, yeah, should be the last one. Do we have any more beyond this? So we have the Kintro. Nope, down to the Stego, which I believe, yes, is the last one. So these are the, the last dinos added to our Stegosauridae. Something like that. Uh, ooh, Kintros. I like the Kintros in Arc. They look pretty cool. Oh, look at those white and black spines. What's this one look like? They look about the same. Could just be the look. So bodies are pretty plain. Just their spikes. Yeah, it was pretty boring. Boarsville. 
asset has been collected. No problem. Let's knock out each of those and get them transferred over. And look at our Stegosaur collection going on over here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and add a door to each of these places. Just so they can be easily maneuvered between. In case we have diseases or anything like that come up. up. Oh, too close to the dinosaur. I'm like, why is this having to go so far out? Too close to the dinosaur. All oh, that one all the way over there. And it's too close. There we go. Oh, that one ran away. Confirming asset delivery. Let's wait for it. Now there's ones on the other side walking. There we go. There we go, so they're all connected now. That one's not. Okay. Delivery has been and they're knocked out here. Let's get them transported over and we'll be all good for this episode. I wish I could do more, but just got so many games and stuff I'm doing right now and just don't have the time to do like multiple videos one because I want to be done with this. Because I'm going to do this, then I'm going to try to do the challenges probably the easy challenges and then somehow go through the drastic mode at some point and hopefully in between those t times and stuff they'll be getting more dinos or more something added into the game more content so we can work on that but other than that you know I'm pretty much done with the game from what I can do or want to do like I'm not creative like this park is about the limits of my creativity as you can see it's not very creative so you'll just staying here and then lines coming off of it. Asset in transit. This whole thing really annoys me though. This curved angle it kind of messes. This whole angle, this should have just been a straight line forward. And then it could have angled like that. But I wish this was just like a straight line down. Which I could always fix later on. And then try and reposition the pins and everything. I have kind of a waste of space over here though. You can fill in with trees. There we go. Just kind of filling in the wasted space and everything. Wish you could put trees. I want this to be filled with trees, but unfortunately we can't do that. Because of the building limitations of the game. And I built this little area on over here last time. Added a drop off area and put in mother things. I don't think I should. I may have done that off camera. Are they done? Oh no, they're being transported now. Hurry up and get there so we can be done. I want to show you all off. Let's go ahead and show the view from this one. Oh, there's a stego. And there's a, uh, um, I can't remember what they're called. Those are Giganthus Minosaurus. Those are Hawaiianosaurus. Then I think the Kintros are the ones being dropped in. They're all just like standing here. What's up with that? Delivery complete. Why isn't that one got plants in it? Are we like at a feeder limit? Oh. It's like, what's going on? Why is there not something in there? Confirming asset delivery. <gasps> there they all are. I think. Yes, that is it. That is every single one in here. Let's. I'm sure I can't count them all. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can do 16 with our feeders, so we should be good on the feeders, of course, have water, everything. Is everyone happy? Is anyone, you're kind of not happy population. Yep, we're going to have that. 
But everything else besides looks pretty fine. I think the stegos, yeah, population. They're the only ones, just the stegos because of too much population. But let's take a look. They're kind of staying over to the one side. Come over here. But there is all of our stegos. Again, I don't know how to pronounce their names. Um, Stegosauridae, I want to say maybe is how I pronounce it. I'll have to look it up and type it in here so I can remember next time for the viewing galleries and I'll have to put in all of the sauropods. Sauropod, I don't know where they start, maybe over here. I'll have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't really know for sure. Then of course we got sauropod gyosphere. Look at them, my sources, my favorite dinos of all. So we got in this episode of the day, we added all of these into the park. Of course, I did most of them off screen, but I had the last two. Then we got all our Stegosaurides and added in. And then, of course, our Endorex right there. Or Endoraptor, sorry, and Indominus Rex. All added into the park, and our, we got hit five stars today, too. So we're off and rocking. And we still got, besides these, all of the other carnivores to add into the park with the T-Rex over here in his big old cage. So I think that's going to be it for this episode today. So I hope you enjoy the continuation to build Jurassic World. I think we're going to be able to fit every single dino. Maybe may have some issues fitting, you know, space wise. So I may not be able to do all of them, but I'm going to try my darnest to get them all in. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos and to check out all the other stuff going on. Um, I'm doing live streams now, every, trying to do every Friday night and additional nights whenever I have the time. So you can watch me stream Red Dead Redemption and just come and hang out and, you know, you can talk to me, do whatever you want to do. I just sit there and play the game and would like to have some people to talk to and stuff. So if you want to do that, please feel free to join. Playing Ark Survival Evolve, of course, with the new map being released this week. So that'll be fun to get onto and explore the new map and everything. So check that all out for me. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.